Hello, my fellow guardians! This is Malucha, and welcome back to Destiny 2 here in Season of the Wish. The previous episode was a pretty lengthy one, but we had to do something we hadn't done before yet. And that is run a full version of the coil, which we kind of unlocked by picking up the quest for the coil, right? And we actually got to the last hidden chamber in that first run of mine, so that was really nice. For today, we are going to continue the seasonal quest line for week four. And wishing you the best. And the first step, let's quickly check. It is quests. It's step 26 out of 55, Riven visited. So let's see what she has to say this week. You return again, Guardian. Yes. And so does another egg from my clutch. It seems Morris Harbinger has succeeded in pulling it close enough for you to catch. How convenient. Though it would have been far more convenient for them not to have been scattered at all. That is true. I have never taken Mara at her word. But she is not a fool. Neither are you. Had she been the one to set my eggs adrift, then she would have devised an easier way to retrieve them. One that requires less risk. But if Mara was not the one responsible, then who was? And what did they stand to gain from it? Manipulating the ley lines like this Reeks of paracausal magic. An Ahamkara's doing. Someone wished for this. And when I find out who it was, then I will feast. So somebody made a wish for Ahamkara, um, uh, for basically Riven's eggs to be scattered by another Amkara, right? Because it would be really strange if they made the wish to Riven. That is... <laughs> oh, I understand it. Like, holy crap. Complete the mission. Apophasis. Apophasis. I have no idea how, if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. And that is an arena which we can start here next to the war table. We have a problem. I was prepping our entry point and soul divisive started pouring into the confluence. I managed to slip out into the overcity undetected, but just barely. How did they get ahead of us? Of the Techians? I don't know, but we need to move on this. Well, I suppose no plan survives contact with the enemy. Guardian, make sure whatever the Vex are planning doesn't survive contact with you. My brute is in peril! Sneak thieves, ransack my lair! Roar my fury through your fangs! Consume them all! She is worked up. I'll guard the confluence from the surface, make sure nothing tries to ambush you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, she did seem pretty mad, though. And we're going into the crossing. It seems the Vex are up to something, because there's a lot of ley lines. Osiris, See, I think these are ley lines. I've been thinking about why the Vex would hit this spot. And the Arboretums where the Confluence intersects with the Dreaming City's ley lines. They could be trying to establish a connection. Or perhaps excise the Confluence from the city altogether. Thereby removing our ability to appease Riven. That sounds like a Vex plan to me. One we cannot abide. I remember the soul device of doing all sorts of weird things in the Black Garden. In the deepest parts, they were experimenting with paracausal forces, adjusting their code to more closely reflect the way they perceive the darkness. Uh, but to no avail to my recollection. Perhaps this is the end of those experiments. Perhaps it is something new. So it seems we do need to activate three plates again. The soul divisive aren't getting along with the Taken. Many Taken here have run themselves rabbit, searching for purpose. 
The Vex must be trying to contain that behavior. Let it loose upon them. Let what loose upon them? Oh, nice hit there. What? Dispense with the Vex Guardian, the imprisoned ogre. Okay, so I just need to kill them all. Sounds pretty straightforward and easy. You'll need soul device of signatures to pick those locks. Think with their heads, Guardian. Arc charged Minotaur. He's gonna get what I need, right? Yeah. Exotic Engram. Okay, that's been a while since I saw one. Let's pick apart these three. Is that? Which one? Oh, there's one more up top. Okay. So there's four in total. There we go. New objective. Defeat Ogre Ganas or Ogre the Ogre. Okay, heavy then. I'll just nuke it down. Little left my special for that. My ult. This down. Let's go. Seriously? There we go. Now all the small fry. Presume there's no longer gonna have be any more extra spawns. Okay. Open sesame. Yeah. Outside the vault of glass. Yeah. I did not think it possible. Are you seeing those readings too? Resonance. If they are tapping into me. the darkness's memory, it may enhance their predictive capabilities. Looks like the witness might have taught the soul device of some new tricks. How the soul device have sought to align their collective more closely with that which they worship. Either way. I guess now we know how they got ahead of us. Ooh, rally banner. You have them flat-footed. Strike before they seize the egg. Okay, yeah, we've uh, we've done this a couple times already. Beat the big guy, which is way too easy. Was that it? That was. Retrieve the egg. That was way too easy for a final boss. <laughs> a detainment matrix. Shatter it! Transmat signal scrambled. You're going to have to fight your way out, Guardian. I knew it. I knew it wasn't going to be this easy. Beat the centroil... Cent centroidal mind. Joining allies. Okay, so he can't stay in this room. <laughs> Kinda makes sense. Where do I spawn? Come on. Me. You drop what I need. Let's go in this. Get up. Get rid of the shields. Ooh, so close. Get rid of these two. Where are you going? Where are you going? Look at that. Screw you for not dying when I wanted you to. Alright. Fools! Poachers strip my den! They wrap hungry jaws around my young! Maybe we'd have gotten here sooner if you'd stop playing games with us. True. I'm long finished playing with you, fallen prince. Enough. 
There is nowhere they can run that the Guardian cannot deliver your retribution. Wish it true. Ask me to rewrite this failure, and I will make it so. That's not gonna happen. You really can't help yourself. We have a lead. In the darkness connection we detected in the oracles. Start there, find the trail. Your egg isn't lost yet. Okay. So first we needed to go talk to Crow, if I remember correctly. Hey, Guardian. The Vex may have snuck in ahead of us. But we're not out of the race yet. Osiris thinks that a Vex mind must have figured out how to simulate the Techians. So long as they have access to those algorithms, the Vex can track the eggs, same as we can. So, we'll just have to steal them back. I managed to pick up the trail. Looks like the sole divisive tucked the egg away in the Black Garden. Lucky for us, that's familiar territory. I remember how to get in. All we need is the head of a Vex Gate Lord. Kidding. <laughs> Turns out Riven had her own path into the garden. You'll have to get in there and put that Vex mind out of commission. I'll be on comms, keeping an eye on the tracking signal. And watching your back, of course. That is reassuring. Thank you, Crow. Let's accept and see where we need to go. The exotic mission Starcrossed. An exotic mission for the seasonal contents. Ooh, okay, starting off in a Riven. Okay. You never mentioned you had a personal route to the Black Garden. And I never would have. But these are desperate times. The last city and the Awoken have history here. What's your connection to it? Currently, it's an inconvenience. That's a good start. My child is lost in this ontology. And our enemies are hunting. Let's go. I always think left is right, but it seems right is going to be left. No, that's not correct either. <laughs> it, it only works in one way. Uh... Uh, wait, what? Let's see, we can get on here. We can get on here, but so presume we're gonna need to make our way. Ooh, stay on. Try to get a little higher. No. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna see this a lot. And it's probably, like, really, really easy. And I'm making it probably, like, way harder than it is. Most likely. Okay, we can get on this. And then from here. Ooh. Stay on, stay on. We made it to the... Oh, 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 oh. To the other side, right? I think. Go up. That is probably a way easier route than the one I took. But I think we're... Going in the right direction. Think. Would it make sense that there were leaves here that we can hop on else? Think. Go here. I'm so happy this is not on the timer. <laughs> Legend probably will be. I don't think we can land on that. Orb though. Maybe you need to go through here. 
No, that cannot be correct. There's no... Hmm. Seems we can go down. Maybe it is down that we actually need to go. There is a... Like a... Pathway in there. That's how we need to go. Oh, we found a chest. Okay. Nice. Okay, that is cool. That is cool. Doesn't seem... Like there's anything else here, so yeah, just a room for uh, a lot of chests. I right, good that we found it. Now, there is seems to be kind of a pathway here, or is I'm no, I'm mistaken. This is not a pathway. So I presume we do still need to go up. Then whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no! Stay, stay on top. Can I? Hmm. No, no, this is death again. Um, kind of wanna. Can I stand on the bubble? Too close. <laughs> oh, I had to go for that chest. Oh, seriously, come on! I w I'm on top of the I'm on top of the the bubble, the the flower. Don't tell me I cannot go. Let's ride from here. Can't stand on those bubbles either. Did I? I it it it's not gonna be possible that I put myself in an impossible spot to get out of, right? It would make no sense. Do we need to jump to that quick? No, that's not gonna be solution either. Doesn't seem like I can stand on that either. Did I really put myself in a position where I can't get back? Um I know I know what I can do, like to make it like way easier uh just go strand <laughs> just go strand grappling hook gg right uh do i have grappling hook it's been a while but it's spike there we go grapple perfect um I still believe that I can, should be able to. Yeah, now I can. Like, why couldn't I do this a second ago? Stay on here. Now. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> why couldn't I do this a second ago? Okay, so we go from here to. Here, okay, and then up top here, and we encounter our first enemies. Well, if we encounter enemies, we know we're in the right position, right? Go where the fight is bringing you. No, you don't. Yo, yeah, what? I wanted to smack you. Approach the structure. What structure? Eyes oh, up, rainbows. Guardian. I've heard whispers like this before. Fallen? Riven was playing me into a grave. Those whispers aren't mine. There, where 
approach the structure. What structure? I still have enemies around here. Oh, over here. Seems we got some mushrooms here going up. Definitely always want to check out where it is. No, that's a ceiling. Doesn't seem like we can actually. Whoa, can we? No, this is the ceiling. So there's nothing over here in the corner. Okay. You have an edge over here. Doesn't look like anything is really here. No hidden rooms behind this. No mountain top. Let's go up top here. Doesn't look like anything. Well, it would make sense that there would be some more. Well, we found one room with a chest, right? So now I'm thinking like everywhere should be rooms with chests. <laughs> That's probably not the case. Oh, what the hell is this? No, that was just uh, some moth. Kind of seeing some symbols, I think, but... From here, they kind of look like symbols, but it's not. I don't think there's anything else here. A couple of enemies. And they're probably... The structure they're probably talking about, like, the triangle over there. The triangle of the witness. Yep. Oh my god, I wasn't in void. I wasn't in where's my invisibility. Yeah, we don't need strand anymore. I need to be able to take cover from time to time. For me, that's way more important. And be able to just smack him down. Yo, what the hell, dude? Okay, that is a good hit. Cyrus, Cyrus Obligation. Well, as long as we stand in here, he's immune or... Yeah, it does look like it. So we got 40 seconds of a buff. And with the buff, we can actually hit him. Okay. Nope. Immune. Let's wait a second. That's a swing and a miss. There's light. Fine. Hit him. Eight seconds. Should be enough. There we go. No idea what's happening here. Anything we could have missed? Don't think so. Okay, down the rabbit hole we go. Nothing behind here. Guardian. Respawn the respected. Will not yield. But I've left latent sparks of paracausality you can harness. Break through. So you have been here before. OK, 
Okay, it seems we just need to clear the phalanxes. Uh, using the same buffs. Got a couple symbols here, though. Oh, buff dissipated. Uh, where is it? Let's grab it again. Where are you? Come on, buddy. Twenty-four seconds should be enough. Let me kill this dude. Here we go. Bye bye. You got some spawns showing up all of a sudden. Oh, behind me as well. Here you guys. Somebody is immune again. So we just killed him, but now he respawned. Is that how it works? Go to another objective. Or are they just all coming towards me? Sesame. Okay, he's down. The lock re resets. The paracausal spark forms. Wait, what? The lock resets? Why is it resetting? Oh, there is an order in which we need to kill them. Bird first, then... Is that how it is? You, this might be my death. If I can't go invisible. No, god damn it. So we need to kill them in order. So the snake is on the right. The dragon was on the left then. And then the bird is downstairs, I think. So top is... Dragon. Dragon is left top. I don't think it actually has anything to do with that. As far as we could tell. He has a marker. Maybe if I kill him, then I need to actually hit the marker that's on top of him. He's immune. I need to get the buff again. Okay, let's try that. Let's try to kill him and then hit the marker that is actually above him. And not the marker that is at the door. And dragon is the top one. So I presume hitting dragon will be E. Let's go. And I need to do that while I'm in Siren's Obligation. I think. Blam, dead. And where is that dragon symbol? A paracausal spark forms. Where is that paracausal spark? Okay, so the dragon one is gone now, right? Am I seeing things right? Yeah, the dragon one is gone, so I'm not really sure what I did, but it's gone. So, snake now? Snake was... which one? This one over here? Yo, 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 yo! Get out, get out, get out, get out! <laughs> Woo! Close one, and the snipers. So now we need to take the buff again and then 
Wait, now Vex appears? Why all of a sudden Vex show up? Yo, 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 get out, get out, get out. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, this is where we came in, I think. We definitely don't need to be there. Let's pick up the stuff again. Up top here. Focus on this dude. Reload. Really? Get rid of these small fry. You. You. My buff. Okay. Back up. Hit him. Kill him. Paracausal energy gathers. Okay. What now? I go to the portal. Only the bird remains. Okay. Let's kill these guys. Was a hit. Good. Take it slow. We're doing the right thing. So one more to beat then. So uh, I, th I think we need to kill them in in a specific order, but I'm still not sure. Like dragon was on the top, so I killed dragon, but I did that before uh, as well, and then it didn't work. Maybe I didn't do it in the specific, like, if the buff was still active or not. Make sure that nothing is on my sides or in my back. That that one is the only one remaining. Like this dude over here. And especially that sniper. We have multiple. Nope, nope. Get out. Buff is uh, gone anyway. Think I think we can hold the ads so they don't actually respawn. Like over and over. Got some heavy ammo here. Looks good. We have one more. Clamber, let's take care of him. Okay, we do see multiple ads though still. Only interested in him. Do we wanna be careful? We're gonna miss. Don't have a buff. We need to have the buff when we kill him. I think once you get rid of the shield, you can basically keep damaging him. But you need to keep the buff up, the Sire Obligation, to actually get the spark. Okay, so that's what we were doing wrong. So now we do have the buff up. And that means if I do this... Yeah, there we go. So you need to have the buff activated when you kill them. And I was basically killing them without a buff. What is this place? 
Ooh. An Ahamkara lair. Hidden in the Black Garden? Is it yours? You've seen mine. Ain't nothing in here. Is that is that it? I was expecting a little bit more conversation. Yeah, I'm looking for mold for possible rooms with chests. Doesn't seem to be any hidden hidden passageways. That whispering Roost. again. I assure you, that's not my voice. It's it's getting louder. Whoa, whoa, that was not good. That was giving me a lot of damage. I have fire damage or something? Guess we can't go that way until we receive this buff then. Dam's gift. So with the dam's gift, we can actually go in here. Yeah, looks like it. Now we have a specific time to actually clear this out. Okay, nothing over here. Kind of want to check out the left side first. Go pick it up again. Go to the left here. Kind of look like go up right. No further than this, okay. This is going down. That's a death trap. Yeah, I'm not getting out of that one. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we do have to be careful where you go. Makes sense that they would implement something like this. Yeah, let's get the buff back. And there were enemies ahead of us, so where there's enemies, that is mostly the good way. So first, let's traverse the middle a little bit more. Um, okay, so it's opening up to me. Okay. Now, I kind of want to go back. If we can. No, you can't. So, I do presume you want to explore the left side first, as that probably has something containing. There were enemies there, but because I went down the middle, and the middle is the right path, I basically... And this is a portal I cannot enter. We have some notes here. And some enemies. That I cannot see yet. You'll find the way is locked. But paracausal energy is your key. These sparks seem different. Because they are not mine. I think you're the only one who can smack some people around. Okay, so we got another buff here. A couple ways to go. We can go over here. A couple of these annoying shieldy guys. And a big guy here. Go heavy. Do need to be careful of the timer. 23 seconds. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Good. Oh, nine seconds. Let's go back out. Pick it up again. Dude up here is still alive. Little garden here. Got an exit here. Do have some imbued with paracausal energy.
Okay. And we can exit through here. We got Oh! And he's in front. Screw you and your shield! Bye bye. Yo. Going to bay a little bit. Perfect. Anything behind here? Do we have an edge here? And we do have a walkway behind there. But we do have a timer that says we can't go there. Oh, wait, what? We start all the way back at the beginning? Really? Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that. Your is locked. But paracausal energy is your key. Come on, get in. These sparks seem different. Because they are not mine. No, there's one behind me. Screw you! It's you or me. Okay. Okay. And this is the room left. Let's go into the last room. And that's that one over there. We have some sketchy folk left and right. Clear them out first. Come on, come on. Don't die now. We good? Where do you guys keep coming from? Yo! No, you don't. There's another buff over here. I kind of feel like we kind of need to be in this room over here. So many mobs there. Kind of makes sense, right? Let's do a nuke. Go, 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 go. Nothing else. Doesn't look like it. Nice. He's down. That means the last one. All right. And seems all the toxic areas are now gone as well. Eliminate the vex. So there are. Enemies that spawn now? Seems so. I am gonna check out the back room though, because it might be possible that there's still a chest over there. Kinda wanna do that first before I continue. Or is it just another means to actually get to the location where I'm at right now? That might be possible as well. This is just a spawn point. 
Alright, traps are here, apparently. Just try to kill me. Oh, the top one? Yeah, I don't think I actually want to do this. Because <laughs> if I fail now... It's all in vain. This is not something we can stand on. This is, okay. That doesn't look like a room we can go behind. Yeah, and this is just the other section. Okay, so there really isn't anything here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's uh, go kill some. And then this one leads around to the first one. If I remember correctly. Okay. And where are these fixed? Some heavy ammo, that's good. Not a lot though. Yep. Couple small fry, one big dude. And we got a hit in. Nice. Again, just taking it slowly. Oh, there's two of them. Now let's take it really slowly. No interest in dying now. Small fry. Okay, I missed them all. Or they're just not coming. They're just not coming. Yep. Nice, that's a good one. And seems we do have a big guy over there as well. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Might not be interesting to see guys, but I died a little bit too much here in this like tiny little zone. Could be interesting. <laughs> okay, seems like we got three more packs. Immune and they should die. Oh, they didn't die from that. It was a good place. Horde though. Then more. Ah, I bumped it on the side. Seriously? Taking such good shots a second ago. There we go. See if we can get him with that. Thing. This quibbly one. And almost done. Let's go, buddy. Seriously? I'm missing a lot of shots. Alright, two more. And last one. Nice. Woo. Some heavy ammo. You want to pick that up? What are you telling us, Riven? The Vex couldn't have created all this. They can't simulate paracausality. You truly wish to know? Of course. Watch yourself, Guardian. Enter the transmit mechanism. Okay. Prefers the garden. Some more parkouring. Whoa! Okay. And it seems we got some timed traps. Okay, 
over here. This one slides up and down. Could really be an issue, right? Ah, we need to use it to jump. Else we can't go in the height. Okay. This one jumps forward. Where do we need to go? Around that corner? Seems kind of impossible. But, oh, try to look again. Does it come out? Yeah, it seems like in that corner. Oh no, Sabat is pretty easy to make it. Anything else moving here? So this one is moving. And it seems like... I'm gonna need to hit that edge when it actually falls back. So around now. No! Oh, that was close though. That was close though. Imagine doing this on a timer. Oh, so we do spawn here again. Okay, that's good. So it's going in now. Okay, perfect. That was a good one. Um, so we need to jump on that one on the other side, I think. Because I don't see anything else. Oh, there is a ledge behind it. Okay. And go now. Okay. Walk around slowly. Nothing. Got some stones below us, but I wouldn't see why you wanna go there. Anything seem like it? There there has to be like one secret room somewhere. The way forward lies in solving the paracausality of this place. What did you protect here? Many things. But whoever scattered the clutch is using this lair against me. The queen couldn't have done this. Though so there is a back room here? Could have. Oh, okay. So we need protection to go in here. Let's try that first. First, let's get rid of all of these mobs here. See where we can pick up the buff. No buff here. Should be right. Hmm. Oh, over here. No. That is a circle to pick up the buff, but it's not active. We have some edges here. It's not something we can climb. Okay. And it's no forest we can go into. Does seem like we can go around here. No idea if I'm going. I'm not going in the right direction, guys. Like I'm feel like I'm just. Oh no! Got mobs, so I think we're going in the right direction. No, you don't. We just nasty orbs. Yo! Stop shooting at me! Holy crap. I'm not really sure if this is the right location, but a lot of mobs. So, it might be the right location. I feel like we missed already like two or three chests at least. And now we got Vex again. I 
I'm just gonna continue to where I see all the mobs coming from. Let's go. Or walk backwards when all the mobs are running towards me. Yup. That's close. Goblins. Doesn't look like something here. And there des definitely has to be something where I came from, right? It just has to be. It does. It just doesn't make sense that they make an entire room with no mobs. There to be nothing. But the problem is I cannot go back up. Once you go down, you're basically kind of stuck. So yeah, no way to go back and check out what what was behind there. Oh so, yeah, let's move forward. This is the abyss. Okay. Feeling mobs are gonna spawn in my face. Yep, here we come. And deactivate the barrier. We've got some invincible mobs again. Let's try to take care of the small riffraff first. Damn's gift. Not working on a shield, okay. That does mean we can get into areas that are affected, right? And this is the shield they're talking about. We do have uh, Damn's gift, and here we got the crowned by dragon's gift, so that means we can deactivate his shield. Where the hell is that dude? Screw you. There it is, dude. So now we can hit him while we have that buff active, I think. Oh, 18 seconds. Let's pick it up again. That's okay. It's got dragon, snake, and we got snake over here. So we need to have the the other. Holy crap. So we're gonna need to juggle the different different buffs. Ugh, don't like that. Yo you guys hurt way too much. Seriously? We back off. Back off. Bye-bye. Didn't have the buff yet. No, I had the buff. But he did respawn. Okay. So here we've got this snake one. Snake one is at the top now. So we need the other buff. To actually go in there and take no damage. And the other buff was somewhere else. That was over here. It takes this buff, okay. Still crowned by dragons. So the buff needs to wear out before we can change. Because if we go in now, it actually we take damage, right? No, we're not taking damage. The so crowned by dragons works in here as well. Kind of strange. Yep. Yeah. 17 seconds. Let's refresh it. Okay. Let's go 
back in. But there is no juggling of buffs then. Come on, deep bubble. Take care of the vandal first. 15 seconds. Let's refresh. Here a respawn of mobs. Snakes is still top. I'm, I'm only presuming that that means we need to do it first. Yeah, I thought I heard mobs respawn. Really don't like that. They actually respawn once you, you jump off the edge. Uh, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. seconds go 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 damn it two seconds oh barely made it out barely made it out and he just respawned or just had a respawn i should say so now we've got sire's obligation Okay, so we need both of the buffs, Sire's Obligation, and the other one to get the Dragon's buff. So... Sire's Obligation, 44 seconds. Let's go Invis, and if we pick up this buff now, we get Crowned by Dragons. Now, we have Crowned by Dragons, that means we have both the buffs active. But if we run over one of the either buff, we can basically um, extend the buff again. So you need to pick up both of them. And once you have picked up both of them, you only need to run over one of them to continue both of them. Okay. Figured that part out. Try not to die. Doing pretty good so far. Um, anything we need to do here? Deactivate the barrier. Combat dragons. Taking damage. Unwelcome. Yeah, we probably won't make it out alive. Go, 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 Oh. So is the... Okay, so the snake one is... Done. So now the bird one is on top. So let's take, uh, silence obligation. And then take the other one. The bird is on top. So where is the bird one? Got the dragon over here. Where the hell is the bird one? Go. Top. Can we? We get uh, the dragon. Where is bird? Guys, do you see bird? Bird is the word? No? That's weird. So snake was over here. Where the hell is bird? Oh, bird is the middle one. Okay, okay, so bird is this one over here. Okay, 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 okay. Bird is not a door we need to run into. Bird is the middle section of the map. Let's make this rather quick. You can buff up. Reload. Where is this fool? Did I get him? 
Screw you. I think I got him. Yeah, so only dragon is remaining. So it is actually, you need to look at what is on top of the triangle. So, crown by dragon, still active, 44 seconds. The so last chamber. And it seems we are able to go in here, do damage and not get hurt. Okay, so slowly now, that we actually know what to do. Yep! Those guys hurt. The visibility is pretty poor because of the orange hue that is constantly around you, but looks like we can't manage. And we got wizards. Like all bunch of stuff we don't really like. You. Uh, 20 seconds. Let's go back. And this should be... Is this the third? Yeah, first one we had, like, only the symbols. The second one we had the uh, spark. This is the third instance in this uh, dungeon, right? Or in this uh, exotic mission. So, it should be the last before we go to the boss. Yo! Let's keep refreshing the buff. So many guys there. So many guys there. Let's refresh. Steady wins the race. Maybe not wins the race, but actually completes the race. That's more important for me than winning the race at this point. One second. Go out. Go out. Okay, now I need to pick up both of the buffs again. Because this was just Dam's gift. Okay. And I need to become a Dragon Slayer. Crowned by the dragons. There we go. Refresh it. Where are you, dude? Take him, Vandal. Pick him up. And him. Whoa. Dungeon on its own or the expedition on or both expedition. Uh, exotic mission looks nice though. Almost got him. Gotta respawn. Get some grenades out there. Go, 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 go. Done it. Hell yes, nice. Wonder if we need to... Let's, uh, let's activate the pup, just in case. Like the dragon one. We kinda wanna check out this room as well. So basically only been at the staircase and see if I yeah some heavy ammo nice special ammo uh, definitely worth coming and pick this up other than that there's nothing really here 
Okay. Not a lot of special uh, heavy ammo though, 30. It's not a lot. Let's refresh. And here we go, rally banner. So yeah, last fight. That mind is protected. Yeah, crimes both both of are both are here. Combine the paracausal energies and gut that. Care of this dude first. Yo, what's happening? Probably gonna die a couple times here. So both buffs are active in the room. You have a couple spots we can go, like, line of sight. I think like it's just gonna be can I just whop one in and then yeah okay so it is doing damage so I could just wither hordes and leave the mobs for what they are okay cheesy I know but it works guys and then just take care of this dude here when he comes oh crime by dragons crap I need both buffs yeah, okay, so you cannot lose any of the buffs or you're dead. Yeah, okay. So if you lose a buff, you can see the shield is around the boss again. So I cannot damage. So you need to keep both of them up. So you constantly need to run around the boss room to actually constantly refresh that buff. Okay. Well, just yeah, get the buff, pop one into the boss, and GG. There we that go, there we go. Is protected. With Ahab Protected my ass. Combine the paracausal energy and look up. Good. Good hit there. And let's just wither horde do its thing. And from time to time, make sure that I pick up a refresh. Keep these guys a little bit on the reps. One in the boss. Refresh. Go heavy. Kill this dude. He's dead. Go a little bit for spree. Let's refresh. Some special ammo. Yo, that's not good. Wait, he's immune? By what? Let's make him immune. Little shits here. Yeah, little shits are making him immune. Go, whoa, that's a sliver of my health. Uh, where's the crown by dragons? Let's pick up the buff. Okay, so you do need to take care of the small fry. Elder, just protect the boss. Yeah, there we go. We can damage again, it again. Twenty-two seconds. Let's pick up some heavy. Go below. Extend above. Line of sight. Put one in. Specials up. Let's wait for a moment where he turns properly. There we go. Yeah, some good hits in. Oh! Buff, buff, buff. Let's go to the other room. On the side. And respawns. Not sure from what. 
Does a buff move to this side of the room? Make sure we keep those little shits damaged. Make sure we keep our buff up. Let's go to the other side. Go heavy. Kill the little shits so they don't protect the boss. Yo, 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 yo. Buff. Kill the flyers. Other side of the room. Let's get the buff up. Move, 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 move. Yeah, he's still protected. Heavy for the flyers. Where is that little one that's protecting him? This one is protecting that one, and that one is protecting the boss. Good. Down. Buff. Okay, he's taking damage. That's good. Let's kill this one. I think if we actually kill this one, two more is gonna spawn. Like, I don't think they are gonna stay dead. Kind of wouldn't make sense. Close by. Um, Crime by Dragons is still up. That's good. Take care of this one. Special's up. Oh! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Boss move to the other side of the room. Get the buff back. No heavy. Bunch of little shits. Take care of them first. You. Oh, nothing above me. Okay, good. Bunch of flyers. Leave the boss for now for what he is. Just want to clear a board a little bit. If we can get some heavy ammo in. More special. Drop. He did. That's good. Oh, the buff! The buff! I'm not welcome! No, 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 no! Ah, oh, this is stupid. So not paying attention. So not paying attention. Oh, no, that's freaking stupid. I was doing so well. That was stupid. Okay, let's see if we can get back to where we we left off. That was really stupid. It doesn't seem like the big guys respawned though. So that is pretty good. All right, I beat his ass. Uh, it took me nine attempts and every attempt I lost my buff. Now, a tip I can give you is stand on this side of the room. There are two buffs on the floor, one over here and then one over there. Now, there are two different types of buff. One is a buff that is gonna make it so you do not take damage. The other one, the buff over there, is the buff that is gonna make sure that you can do damage. Now, if you stay on this side of the room and you fall out of your buff, because your rotation, you're focusing too much on the mobs or whatever happens, you're just not paying attention, like in my case, you're running out, picking up this buff is good. Because it's one out of two. The problem is you're going to start taking damage. And when you're taking damage, you're getting slowed. And with that slow, you cannot get... Unless you have dash or something or a grappling hook or whatever. You cannot get while regular walking, jumping to this side of the room to pick up this buff before you're dead. So a good, good hint is stay on this side of the room. If you fall out of the buff, you can at least take the buff that is preventing you from taking damage... And you have safely enough time to actually get the second buff where you can start doing damage again. But holy crap, it's it's probably a whole lot more easy than it is. But... Uh, well, this is me we're talking about. Reverse the garden. Approach. Chest first. Wishkeeper. 
asking to use me as a vessel. I... That's... Darius. Who? Let him speak. Please. I'll try anything twice. Let's hear you, whoever you are. Riven. Oh, I've missed you. <laughs> Taranis. What have you done? I've made my last wish. Your wish? You utter fool. It's been fulfilled. Thanks to you. And the wishkeeper. The wishkeeper? I can rest. What else the wish? If there are anything left of you, I'd flay it from your bones. They sound like it lovers. Was good to dance with you. Oh beloved mine. Seems they were lovers. One last time. Bro, don't ever do that again. That was weird. Who was he, Riven? Terranus was my mate. And that wraps up. Overall, pretty fun if you know what to do. But <laughs> I guess that's every time you you go into the it's fun trying to figure it out but it it's it's i don't think i don't think this was the longest i have done to actually clear a hidden mission or an exotic mission on the first time i think i think there were way longer what do we actually got we've got the wishkeeper combat bow create traps that suspend targets a silk bound slayer let's see how it looks Oh. Okay. So what does it say? The wish keeper. Let's lock it. So greatly increases handling speed, increases stability. Lights a stable shaft material increases stability. This weapon deals bonus damage to suspended targets. Gain faster draw time for a short duration when you suspend the target from any source or damage. Or damage suspend the target with this weapon. Okay, so uh, whenever you suspend something, which you can do with this weapon, and damage it afterwards, you're gonna have increased draw time. Okay. Snare Weaver. Preci precision hits and final blows build energy towards a Snare Weaver arrow. That can be fired from the hip. On impact, snare weaver arrows create a pattern of traps that suspend nearby targets. Towards a snare weaver arrow. And this is deep side, so... Yeah, we can obtain this one and actually craft it in the relic in the... In the enclave. That is really, really cool. And we got a couple extras. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that on our own, guys. We still have our weekly quests to look into, because that is the main reason why we are here. Do our main oh, like these main quests? They they're they're asking a lot of me. Uh, last week it was like a run through the uh, mission that I haven't done yet. Wishing all the best. Speak to Riven. So let's go back to the helm and let's see what she has to say for herself was not always a prisoner in the Dreaming City. The Ahamkara were once free to roam its halls. That's where I met Taranis. And Taranis, unlike others, unlike me, cherished those who wished to him. Those who bargained with him were safe. must have cost him. I found his restraint intriguing. And 
my arch, my dreaming halls, my dance with the queen, move Taranis in turn. Together, we became the ebb and flow of the tide. Through him, I glimpsed a world without the tireless cycle of bargaining and feeding, of peace. Taranis invited me to his lair, a place where we couldn't be found, in the ontology of the Black Garden. My joy of turning desire to woe faded for one rapturous moment. We made successes together. We built secrets together. And then came your great hunt of the Ahamkara. The Queen took my freedom under guise of protection. Taranis and I were forever separated. But we could still whisper to one another in the space between. At least until a king arrived and made a bargain I could not refuse. I became both king and dragon. I spoke with his voice, and Taranis knew it. So he did the one thing our kind must never do. Grant his own wish at the cost of his existence. Oh. A wish to keep the eggs out of harm's reach until someone could protect them. Someone like you. His wish keeper. Okay, intriguing. I didn't even know that the Amamkara were like four-legged creatures. Can you can you imagine that? Like I I for the best of me, I was like. With what they stood on, two legs, had two front paws, had a long tail. They're actually pretty beautiful creatures. Like, really big. And to know that there was one that was actually protecting the uh, those who made wishes to him. Pretty cool. Alright, let's see what Riven has to say, because she was pretty mad before, but now that she heard her, uh, her man one last time... Who knows? Terranus was always a sentimental fool. His last wish has caused us no small amount of trouble. All wishes come at a cost, even those we Ahamkara grant ourselves. Especially those we grant ourselves. Apparently death. My kind feeds on the difference between what is desired and what comes to pass. That is why we grant wishes the way we do. In granting our own wish, we eliminate that difference. We smother the flame and our voices fall silent. Our existence ends. Ahamkara uh, are selfish creatures, not prone to such acts of sacrifice. But Taranis... He was different. His sacrifice... might save us all. You destroyed the Vex mine simulating the Tekian's work. The Vex will not reach the eggs first again. But they still hold my lair. Put Taranis' gift to good use, O oh guardian mine. It is your turn to grant a last wish. 
Is it though? Wish Ingram, an Ingram containing Season of the Wish gear. Okay, new step. Marasaf will call upon you once the Tekians have calculated location of another Ahamkara egg. Until then, continue to defend Riven's lair against trespassers. But we know that there's always some extra conversations going on, right? Let's quickly check out the... I don't know. Yeah, I haven't here we spoken go. to Jolion since Glint raised me. You Jolion. used to be inseparable. It's not just anyone who would follow you into the Black Garden. I thought you'd want me to keep my distance. Queen Mara wanted to protect you from Aldrin's memories. I think we're past that. <laughs> yeah, probably. You should reach out. Jolian is a good man. I'm a different person. That probably goes for Jolian, too. The last time he saw me... Let him make that decision. You were close. Chances are you could be again. I... I'll think about it. You know, you still give good advice, Petra. Yeah, well, I never take it. Good advice? Alright, seems that was the message for this week. And this is also where I'm gonna wrap up this episode, guys. Let's sit around down like we always do and end it up here. What an adventure! We've got an exotic bow out of this week's uh, quest for wishing all the best. And it's looking pretty nice. Definitely looking forward to seeing it in action and what it actually can do. And yeah, it's unstoppable as well with the mods for this season. So yeah, there we go. If you want to see more of my quest progression on my Let's Play here in Destiny 2 Season of the Wish, guys, or any other game that I might be playing on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.